All right, so here we go for this new sparring session. So this guy is called Sylvain, uh, and that was the first time that I sparred this guy. And uh, straight away I was like, okay, this guy is going really hard. And so at first I was like taking it, but then very quickly I told him, I think he realized by himself. Because the way I do it is I will let the guy hit a bit hard, but I will not hit hard back. And uh, it's difficult, that's some, but that's something I've been kind of... Uh, it's just about being aware of what you do and about your emotions. Because usually what happens is that if someone hits you back, you will it hits you hard, you will hit back uh, with that much intensity because of an emotion that arises. And somehow you're like, hey, okay, this is not fair. Why are you hitting me so hard? I can hit you hard. And it starts going into some ego thing. So what I did was, I did not tell him first, but I just sort of, uh, I just went really easy on him, just to show him the, the difference of intensity and <clears throat> to sort of signify to him that, look, this is how I work. Uh, can you come down to my level? Um, but I think at some point I have to, to vocalize it. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. And, uh, and then he went a little bit easier on me and that was better. See, he kicks hard and again. All right, let's look a bit more at the technical aspect now. So I think at this point, he's still kind of th like that was a really hard body shot. And you see mine's, I'm, I'm, they're fast combinations, but you can see that I'm not using too much power. The main lesson I've been learning from uh, my recent sparrings was that really number one, I have to be more confident in my own abilities, in, in my own boxing. That was also a hard body shot. See how my, my strikes are very light. And he tries to really go for it. See, the intention behind his moves, particularly the front kick just before. And uh, at some point, I think we have a discussion. That's my fa famous uh, <laughs> side kick to the liver. I've been really landing that a lot. It feels very, very natural to me. And uh, I've, I've been very successful with that move. Now, there are things also I really have to work on and one I think I need to be a bit harder I mean when I look at me there is this thing like see like here like I look a bit overwhelmed and hesitant um, and the hesitation comes between do I block or do I dodge or do I move and I think I need to make uh, like clearer decisions it's like when you're driving you know what causes accidents usually is hesitation like someone you know is waiting at a, a traffic light or at a stop and you don't know what they're doing. They go, they go slowly or they break, they go again and they break again. That's really annoying because you can't read. So I think what I need to do is if I block, I block even if it's not blocking anything, even if I miss. Uh, and I, have to, I think my moves have to be a bit more, I, I don't know how to say, uh, clear sharper now, there's some good stuff going on and I think I've made progress I mean if I compare with the very beginning my guard has changed a lot there is this thing also about getting need and uh, and shelling up which I need to change I think at this point I we had agreed that you know we were going to go a bit easier you can see his strikes are not so hard as they were at the very beginning of the, of the sparring all right, let's see if there's some interesting thing going on. Now I've been doing the Jeff Chan's training, uh, heavy, uh, heavy bag workout. I haven't completed it and I haven't been able to do as much as I want on it because uh, when I work long hours, long days, and very often when I come home at night, although the, some of the sessions are only, oh, that was a good jump to the face. Some of the workouts, are, I mean, the workouts are about 10 minutes long 
but these days with uh, autumn, the change of seasons, I find it difficult to find the energy and I prefer to save my energy because I have to work so much these days. So, see a bit of clinching. I mean, I was a bit worried because I thought this guy's more experienced and I'm always a bit worried about going to the clinch with guys who are more experienced, but actually there's very few who can really pull off really impressive stuff during the clinch. So this guy did not do much, no, maybe he didn't try, I don't know. Uh, one thing that uh, I'm kind of proud of is that I sparred with him. At some point, he really hurt me, uh, but I went again. That is, uh, even though I was a bit impressed by this guy and by his uh, the, the energy, the, the intensity that he put in the sparring, I still went for it one more time. And also, what I realized was that when I land, uh, when I am more confident in my my boxing. I can actually land good combinations and be, see, boom, that's a, a, the sidekick to the liver. Even in clo at close range, I can pull it off. So that's the level of sparring I'm, I feel comfortable at these days. Because the, that's the... That's the the, the level where I'm having fun. More than that, harder than that, eh. <laughs> it's not so fun anymore because I'm a bit too worried about getting hit, having headaches and stuff like that. I guess I will come to it at some point. I don't feel ready yet. I think I still need to make progress on a lot of aspects. I need to have a tighter defense, maybe maybe move less also. See when I allow myself to flow a bit more, I have I have more success. I found that I have more success when I'm having more fun and <clears throat> being more relaxed and try things. That's a, something also I've um, adopted this, this thing about pushing and then kicking. That's something I got from Jeff Chan also. So it's nice to see that some of the stuff that I've been working on, on my own, in the, in the privacy of my attic with my bag, I kind of uh, pull it off during sparring. That's a great, great uh, satisfaction. So this is Sammy, he's really high level. That was a very good counter. It's a classic, okay, you, you counter uh, a roundhouse kick with a teep. So I really like to spar with him because um, he's, uh, he's high level, and, uh, but he doesn't go too hard. That is, I always learn stuff from sparring with him. Like this, see, he, he, he went for a, a roundhouse kick and I went to, for a counter, but immediately he just stopped with a, with a teep. See, that's the kind of thing I appreciate. Like he, he, he grabbed my leg, I let him grab my, my leg, but he doesn't punish me hard because he, he was aware that I kind of let him grab my leg in a way, in a, you know, like it's like saying, okay, you got me. And he's like, yeah, I recognize I got you, so there's no need to do more. It's, it's this thing about, you know, when you spar with someone who's, you see that, once again, this, this sidekick, liver sidekick. That's the thing that's nice when you spar with someone who's like smart and you understand each other. It's like you, you don't need to say the things, it's just from the movements you, you, you understand the intentions. So that's another thing that I'm happy is, I mean, I know it doesn't look that good, but it's something else I've been working on is like the fake tip to, to bridge the, the gap, to get closer, fake the tip and then go into a, maybe a clinch or an elbow strike. I've, I've just got my elbow pads, but I haven't been able to see that's the sidekick to the liver again. I haven't been able to really use the elbows. I mean, there's already so much going on. See, I'm trying to catch kicks. There you go. I tried this fake tip to get into the clinch, but going to the clinch with him is not a good idea because he's got such a better level than me. I mean, he's really good at throws and things like that. 
I really wish I could do some of this stuff. I, re I would really like to be able to pull off uh, at least some simple throws. And yes, also the, um, that's uh, something we've been working on last Saturday because on Friday evening there is the sparring session which I, I uh, show in my videos. But then on Saturday morning I also go to the Muay Thai lesson which is just technical lesson. There's no sparring going on. It's, it's just technique. And um, what we did last time, or not last time but the time before that, was uh, fake tip into bridging the gap and land a, a knee strike and uh, at some point I was uh, able to kind of do it <laughs> so even when you grab the leg doesn't mean you necessarily oh, that was something else that was very good so what he did is I grabbed his roundhouse kick but before I could do anything he kind of retracted his leg and then kicked me in the in the stomach before I could do anything and so I had to let go and, and actually got hit. That's another thing that he does well. He feints a certain height and then he, he ends up kicking uh, high. That's why I, uh, I replied with some sort of uh, axe kick. <laughs> okay, then I went a bit more for some sort of uh, uh, old school kickboxing, though my previous style, which was very sort of See, uh, trying to go for the clinch and land a knee, which is a, a very sort of very pro protected behind my gloves. Uh, it's more like it's almost like an English boxing style. I like how he's that's the le leaping uh, hook, that's something I'm very good at, I think but uh, I don't really use it that much. So that's the thing also I'm, uh, I'm quite happy, although there's, as I said, a lot to improve, but I'm happy that there's more creativity in my, my things, like this leading, this uh, uh, leaping hook. That's something that I've, I've practiced a lot, but I've never really used it. There's like all kinds of things that I've, I practice a lot and I don't, I don't really use them that much. Uh, because there, there, there needs to be some sort of conscious thought about using them. And uh, I think they only become really natural when you, it, it becomes really unconscious. Like you pull them off just because it's really part of the things you like to do. It's like this psychic to the liver. I've never really worked on it, but I don't know, it just comes out naturally. Uh, so I think that there's like different stages. That's, that's a theory uh, I have. But I think first you have to, you, you, that was a very good throw. You drill, uh, you drill something like a combination. Then during the spring, you really need to, it, first it doesn't come out. And then you think about it and, and you try to pull it off by consciously thinking about it. And then you kind of see the openings for them and, and it just comes out naturally. And I've not reached that level for all of my combos, but I've reached it for a, a few of them. So see, it's, oh, this, <laughs> that's good. I, I went for a bit more of English boxing. I've always thought that my, my strength were my kicks and my legs. And I'm trying, when I see it like that, I'm like, maybe I should sort of have also more confidence in my English boxing. I don't know. Can't be bad anyway. But you said I try things that I didn't try before. Like that was ah, that was the technique that I mentioned. Okay, it didn't end up very well for me, but that's the thing about going for a fake tip and then a knee. But then it ended up in a clinch and I, and I got thrown. Okay, that's one of the combinations that I've, I've been working since since I started boxing. Okay, just a rear uppercut, the jab, uh, rear low kick, or something like that. Very basic.
I don't think you're allowed to grab the neck like that, but <laughs> I saw it, I went for it. See, that's the liver kick uh, once again. Ah, that looked good and I'm really happy because I've worked on that move really a lot, that combination. I call it the TJ Dilla show. Okay, I'll, I'll talk about it later. All right, that's it for today. See you around, bye.